Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd and today let's talk about Kuzan's Allegiance. So, as of chapter 1063 or even before that, the debate of Kuzan's alliance or where his loyalties lie is been questionable. It's been questionable ever since he left the Marines and joined the Blackbeard Pirates. If you guys didn't know, after the fight with Akainu for the title of Fleet Admiral, Akiji lost in a 10 day battle got severely wounded and left the marines and joined the blackbeard pirates this has been canonically confirmed when aokiji saved smoker from do flamingo now with all that being said and done it's sort of you know weird coming from aokiji because aokiji is that sort of an admiral who has a very sort of right sense of justice what you call perfect sense of justice he understands that most pir most pirates are bad and also understands the fact that the world government isn't 100% right in whatever they do because the world government also has their propaganda they also have their ulterior motives that helps them stay in power or some things they do that makes no sense from a proper justice standpoint again the definition of justice or what justice is is always debatable according to who the winner is or whoever is talking but my point is he understands the bad in the world government and now just because he understands and realizes that you know the world government isn't 100 percent good that doesn't mean he'd go to blackbeard to be honest because he's the last person i expected he would join but it is what it is. And before we move on, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And now that you have, let's begin. So with him joining the Blackbeard Pirates, he's a great asset. But we have doubts. Ever since the introduction of swords, we figured out that Marines get to infiltrate Yonko Cruz in order to get their information. They are a secret organization within the Marines that even the Fleet Admiral is probably not aware of, or most people in the Marines aren't aware of, or the world government by itself. So it's highly likely that Akiji joined the Black Bear Pirates because on the orders of Sword, whoever the leader of Sword is, it could be himself, could be Garp, could be Sengoku, but it's a possibility that he joined the Blackbeard Pirates in order to do that. And it's also entirely the case that everything he's doing is his own motive. He has some sort of an agenda to fulfill that will be accomplished only when he joins the Blackbeard Pirates. Now, what could that be? Some of the key information that I've gotten about Akiji over the years and rereading the story overall is information that we've gotten when we first got introduced to Akiji and at the end of his lobby. At first, you know, uh, Aokiji seemed to be very strong. He is very strong and he lets Robin and the Straw Hats go, giving them a warning. If it was some other admiral, they would just, you know, finish the job quickly rather than letting them go again. We later figured out that Aokiji saved Robin because a friend of his, Jaguar Disa, protected Robin in Ohara when she was a child. Aokiji said to Robin that my friend saw protected you because he saw something in you that, you know, that could change the world and I want to see what that future is. So after that, after everything, and then we get the panel or the conversation between Robin and Aokiji at the end of Annie's lobby, when post Annie's lobby when Aokiji met Robin, uh, sort of, you know, af well, after separating her from the Straw Hats, and he said, I'm glad you found the friends that you always wanted and I hope you stay by them or something along the line and I really really want to see the future that you will be building in this world. So it all goes down to I think Aokiji understands the importance of the history of the world, the void century, the poneglyphs, the ancient kingdom. I think Aokiji has quite a lot of knowledge. In order for him, and he, he might not have that degree of knowledge, but he knows the poneglyphs are a very important part to figuring out the pu puzzle of the Void Century and basically revealing what the world government has been doing over the past 800 years that is essentially bad or how they try to stay in power and create this very sort of uh, dictatorship rule that, that they've been doing. Uh, I believe that 
with it, that being his motive, and I think he, I really, really think that Aokiji wants to protect Robin because the the way he has protected or rest or save Robin from times of danger has always been crucial, and it feels like he has no other choice than to trust her and then to trust his friend. So obviously. So that basically means he'll try to do everything in order to protect Robin. Now where am I going with this? Very simple. If he works for swords, it, it, the agenda is very simple. You get information on the Blackbeard Pirates, you inform them about the Marines, Kobe is now there, and you know, you could be basically laying traps for Blackbeard in order for the world government to capture the whole crew and maybe, you know, this sort of what you might say, uh, lay a trap for them in order to get them in one fell soup. But this feels very basic. Now, all this planned out throughout the years, Oda is not that simplistic of a writer. Everything he does has a very good reason and a greater reason than what we originally think it is. Every one of his characters, major characters, play roles that we never expect. And for Aokiji, I expect that to be solely protecting Robin. Now, it wouldn't be a bad idea if he were if he were to be a part of Swords. I wouldn't hate it because that would coincide very well with how, however the story is going. But with him having two agendas, one, fulfilling the duties of Sword, and another, fulfilling the duties of his best friend. But basically, we know the will, will and everything, everything about will and how it has been passed on from people to people, and if, 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 if one person doesn't make it, another one carries the torch and fulfills that dream. And for Aokiji, it could be Jaguar D. Saw's dream of letting Robin live. Because Jaguar D. Saw knew Robin more than Aokiji knew her, but he had no other way to trust it other than to let her survive and fulfill his friend's wishes. And then again, Jaguar D. Saw and Aokiji are very close. And what I'm trying to say is, Jaguar, Jaguar understands Robin more than Aokiji does Robin, but Aokiji understands Saw, which means there's definitely a way for him to trust him, trust Jaguar's decision to protect Robin in order to and and to sacrifice himself for her. With all that being said, protecting Robin and joining the Blackbeard crew I think is very essential, because yes, in Zo it was predicted that Robin would be targeted by everyone. It was also said in the uh, in the Wano arc when Big Mom said, "Keep her alive because we need her to decipher the polyglyphs." And here I will talk about pudding. So Kaido said that, "Hey, I know you have a I know you have a child who has awakened the third eye. What about her?" Big Mom said that's very unreliable, and I'm not really sure when that's gonna awaken, and that is not something that I want to wait for. And then we see Blackbeard targeting Pudding all of a sudden, most likely under the influence of Aokiji. If not, I would like to believe so, because even if Blackbeard has his own intel, he knows that going after the Straw Hats right now is a very bad idea because it's not a 100% foolproof plan. Again, we know how, how big of a schemer Blackbeard is. If he wants to achieve something, he will take it with the minimal risk possible. When really reached Bohan, when really reached Amazon Lily to protect Boa Hancock, Blackbeard didn't take the risk of fighting both of them at once because the chance of, you know, damaging, the chance of him gaining what he wants to is very slim. And specifically in this scenario, when trying to capture Robin, Luffy is a big deal. Luffy is a big deal, and you do not want to mess with the Straw Hats because that would not get you unscathered. Thus, he targeted Pudding. Now, Aokiji could also just suggest it, because now Big Mom's not here. Pudding is an easy target. Aokiji might have helped him out a little bit, saying that rather than going after Robin, oops, who is a risky uh, sort of, who is a risky sort of candidate to pick, because the amount of sacrifices involved, you could go after Pudding, who has a slight chance of deciphering the poneglyphs. Again, that is not 100% foolproof. What I'm trying to say is, Aokiji is trying to buy time for the Straw Hats or the Marines so that Blackbeard doesn't get to decipher the poneglyphs immediately. And in order to, and that, in turn, saves Robin, 
and saves Marines a lot of time to basically regroup and understand and go over the strategy, whatever they have to do, in order to beat Blackbeard. And for the Straw Hats as a whole, it also gives them enough time to explore the world, get stronger, so that Robin, when, whenever Robin is targeted, the Straw Hats have enough strength to beat the Blackbeard Pirates and stop whatever Blackbeard is scheming. That is it for the video, honestly. That is all I had to say. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and peace.